Right, welcome along to uh, the press conference for Saturday night's big fight. Matt Crouch, promoter. Um, just how excited are you about this show? Very excited. Why? Because uh, uh, inevitably you've got a fantastic card and I suppose it's the top table guest you've got tonight that's making you really excited. Yeah, um, it's the long show we've done in the last two and a half years and it's the only show that's more or less officially sold out before the Saturday, yeah. So it's great, yeah. Okay, and so a lot of it's to do with these two main event guys. How much? How much did they take persuading to take this fight? Um, easy, really easy. I thought it was going to be hard because Liam's been out of the ring for over a, a, a decade. Bears, Bears always easy to to convince, but yeah, you know, Liam's very confident. So is Bear, yeah. Okay, well let's find out from them. We'll start with the challenger. Uh, Liam, um, as, as Matt said, it's uh, you, you made a comeback, what, the, the last day of March, didn't you? Yeah, you've, been out not, the, yeah. you've been out of the ring a long time by then, so what makes you think that you've still got it? To be fair, um, getting back into the boxing ring means I've, got every, means I've got everything, to be fair. I was in a dark, deep place, so I started training again, and I realised how good I was. And I already worked out that in my head, I'm already a winner, coming from where I've come from in the last 10 years. Why I stopped boxing? Um, I started again, and it took all the, all the pressures and all the release. And now I'm training. I'm I'm I'm, fe I'm feeling better than what I was when I was a professional in two, my last pro fight, 2006. Okay, but you you won your comeback fight, but frankly, it lasted uh, a blink of an eye, didn't it? So oh, def definitely. I mean, um, to be fair, um, Bear is a very fit, come forward, hard, and he is a, he's a true champion. Fair play to him. At the same time, there's two champions in the ring. And um, at the same time, two, two winners, well, regardless who brings about, and I'm already winning. So. <laughs> okay, uh, so before we hand over to, to Bear, can you give us one reason why you're going to win this fight? Um, the one reason is, um, I'm, I'm just going to... In fact, there ain't no reason why I'm going to win the fight. I am. Okay, pass it on to Bear then. So Bear, there we are. There's uh, a very confident opponent. Um, before we start about why you took the fight, we, we know you're the, the champion anyway. Uh, give us one reason why you're going to beat Liam Stinson. Uh, just, well, just all round better. Uh, boxer, fitter, more determined. Um, just want it more. Y you've got a lot of hunger in you, have yeah, you? Yeah, still, yeah. What, so what motivates you then? Because we've seen you win fight after fight. What, what, what is it that gets you back in the ring each time? It's a good question. I don't know. Um, I enjoy it and it gives me a drive. Um, success, uh, breeds success. So I'll just, just keep going, training, winning, enjoying it. And, uh, you know, getting in the gym. And then at the end of it, you go to fight. And, you, you know, all the while being well, get a victory and go on to the next. Seen lots of uh, posts on Facebook of you in the in the Trojan gym. Uh, so just how well has the camp gone? Yeah. Um, so we got, like I said, Trojan um, Fitness in Bristol. Matt Yard. He's he's with me. We're training. If it's not every day. It's every other day. I always do two hard days and I recover. Which listen to my body and he, he pushes me to the max. Uh, great gym down there. He's coming off his strength and conditioning. He's doing all his courses and he's getting members all the time. He's getting uh, a lot of individual athletes coming to him to ask him to train. Um, he's got a boot camp going down there and it's just a great place to train. And everyone's pushing you, everyone from the gyms behind me down there. And then we've got our own little class on a Tuesday night with PJA, me and Mark, to um, the juniors from four to six, the four to seven, uh, that's 5.30 to 6.15. Then after that, we do the seven to 14 year olds. And then we've got adults class. So. We're, 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 always, we're always training. Nice commercial there, I yeah. thought. Just a quick word from Mark about how, how fit he is. Can, can you pass um, the mic over? Yeah, he's very fit. I've probably got a couple of boxers that are as fit as Bear, but they don't punch as hard as him. They don't keep coming forward all the time like Bear. If, if you hit him, you've got to hit him hard to keep him off. I've seen him spar heavyweights and still get the better of him. There's bigger lads, 80, 85, 90 kilos spar with him. He's pushing them on the back foot. He gets them on the ropes and he beats them. Uh, I've, I've worn body belts, body protectors. He bruises me through the body belt. That's how hard he hits. And, you know, that's not bullshit. Um, 
I know Liam's doing this as well for a cancer charity, that's good. I'd like to shake his hand for that. My dad, my dad died of cancer last year, so I respect that, that's sound. And my uncle also died last year, so I do And Dean Francis, who just passed away. And Dean Francis, sorry. Dean yeah. Francis, champion. But on the night, my man wins. Okay. Let's pass the mic, just finally, just to be fair, to even it up, to find out how Liam's camp's gone. So, how has it gone? Uh, to be honest, everything I've heard and seen him doing, it's been good. I wanted to push him a little bit more, to be honest, but I think he's ready. Um, obviously, like with Bear as well, I think he's a great fighter. Obviously, Liam's done his time as well. At the end of the day, it's a case of seeing what goes on on the night. Um, it's all good doing a talking and saying this and saying that. Listen, it's, listen, it's, a difficult, it's difficult for me to say. Um, at the end of the day, let's let do the boxing. Let's the bo let the boxing do the talking. Um, all this going on, let's see on the night. And but congratulations to both fighters. Um, I wish them both the best, regardless of anything. And yeah, let, let, the, bo let the boxing up on Saturday night. So, yeah. Absolutely. Best luck to both fighters and punch promotions. Absolutely. A final word for Matt then. So uh, we've got the weigh-in at the Marriott uh, on Friday night and then the big big night as well. I, I gather virtually every ticket's gone, hasn't it now? Yeah, there's uh, uh, 29 tables has been sold, uh, so there's no tables available now. There's 13 ringside tables. We've even got two tables up on the balcony, so we're full packed of rafters. Um, there's £35 seated tickets available, only 22 um, as we speak now, so it will be sold out from Saturday. Um, the, the way in is at the Bristol Marriott Hotel, to Castle Street Old Market, um, tomorrow at 7 o'clock, free to everyone to attend, it's going to be a very big occasion. Um, Liam's got to make 75 kilos, Beryl's already made 75 kilos because he walks around at 71, 72, so there's no, no pressure from Team Beryl whatsoever. Okay, and Liam, yeah, Liam wants I just want to say one other thing, um, had it not been for people like Matt, Crouch, Punch Promotions, this wouldn't be even happening, and the big shows in Bristol. So everyone needs to listen and actually thank this guy, or get amongst him, because at this current time, he is promoting and doing the biggest, best of shows. Um, it, was, it was actually a privilege for him to give me a chance, to get me out of my dark spot, and let me thrive again, and do something I'm so good at, and get me into a good place again. So had it not been for Matt Crouch, Punch Promotions, this wouldn't even be happening. So I think a big thank you that everyone needs to understand that this guy is, is really good. Well said. Thank you. Okay, can we get the two guys out then for another face-to-face? Uh, -face? That'd be great. Good lads. You could look as if you don't like one another, I suppose, but never mind. It is what it is. <laughs> Do what I doing right now. Yeah, junior night, Saturday night, alright? Everyone enjoy it. Excellent. It's going to be a masterclass. Oh, done, boy!